Hello and welcome to this video where we are celebrating a thousand subscribers. Whoopee! Thank you very much to every one of you who have come and subscribed, who have watched and liked my videos. I really appreciate your support and engagement in the comments and sharing all this content. Without you, this would not have been possible. Now, as a thank you to you, I thought I'd make a little analytics video to sort of show you the past year that is gone, how it all started and how it ramped up to where we are today. And I'm going to kick it off with an analytics sort of walkthrough. And then I've created some word clouds, which we can have a look at just to see which sort of topics stood out and which words really caught your eye and created the most buzz on my channel. And then later, I'll show you how you, my subscribers, can take control of the content of my channel and determine what videos I will publish next and what topics those videos will be about. So let's get started. So you can see my analytics page and I've created a custom sort of date. Um, I uploaded my first video on the 2nd of February 2020 and I reached 1000 subscribers on January the 1st, 2021. So it was a great start to 2021, leaving 2020 behind and starting with 1000 subscribers in 2021. So that, that was quite nice. And if we look at just the views alone, you can see it is very low at the start and then it starts to ramp up gradually with a little, nice little peak here in December and then it starts going down, which I guess festive season, people don't really watch tutorial videos or how to videos. So that's why it sort of peaked down a bit. If we scroll down, it lists the top 10 videos for this period in terms of views. And you can see dominating position number one and position number two is the two videos that I covered on how to web scrape Facebook. And the first one was just how to determine promotional posts. So you can go have a look at that if you are interested. In. And the second video was just sort of follow on and more generalistic how to scrape certain aspects of Facebook. And you can see it is standing head and shoulders above the rest with 15,200 views for the first one and almost 10,000 for the second one. And then my third video, most popular video is sitting at 5,500 views. So there's a big difference between my top two and the rest of my videos. And from the other analytics that I'm going to show next, you'll clearly see how, how these two videos sort of shaped my channel in a sense. The third one, the Heroku tutorial was very, was very popular as well. So you can see that's third. And then my, my first video, I can see, oh, it's a February the 4th, which was the first time I uploaded, but that was my first video that I uploaded. So it, it's literally been on my channel for a year and it's almost 5,000 views. So that is a SolidWorks um, tutorial. And then following onto that, it's basically a combination of web scraping, Twitter bots, using uh, Jupyter notebooks and sentiment analysis. So it's all Python related with one little SolidWorks here at number four. But it's been it's been really nice. I really enjoyed creating this content. So I'm really glad you guys watched them as well and, and sort of engaged with it, which is great. Now, if we go to the reach, you can see YouTube search was the main sort of source of my traffic. Almost 50% of all my views came from YouTube search. And then also external and suggested videos also contributed quite a lot. And then if we move to sort of engagement and we scroll down. This is again, something that I want to show you is the top videos in terms of time watched. You can, and you can see here the top videos with the watch time. You can see which videos were actually watched the most. And again, the Facebook web scraping video is sort of king at 980 hours watch which is almost a thousand hours watch. And then second is my um, SolidWorks one, which is at 500, almost half the watch hours of the Facebook one. And just to let you know, sort of the SolidWorks one is like an hour and a half long versus the Python, I think it was about 20 minutes. So clearly the, even though the SolidWorks tutorial was an hour and a half long, it still didn't generate that many, um, that many watched hours compared to the Facebook one. So again, Facebook web scraping seems to be quite popular with you guys. And then there's the, the, the other Facebook video was coming in fourth, but still quite good 281 views. So that's still, again, can clearly see that you really enjoyed or people came to watch my videos in terms of web scraping and creating Twitter bots. Now, if we go to the top geographical locations from, from, from which my views came from, we can see that India is uh, leading the pack with 16% of all my views coming from India. So thank you very much, India, for all your views. I appreciate it. And then next is the United States with 10% and the United Kingdom at four and then Indonesia and South Africa. So the majority of views are coming from India. And we can also see that if we scroll down, that 
the majority of my views are male with 10% female and you all are ranked between 18 and 34 years old. So that's the majority of some, some viewers having an age above 35. And then this is something which I'd like to change in the future. You can see the watch time from subscribers is a merely 5% and the rest is coming from non-subscribers. Now, I'd like to increase that subscriber percentage because obviously you are the people that's gone and clicked the subscribe button. You are the people that see my videos on your feed. And I want to create videos that you will say, oh yeah, I'll, I'll watch that. I, I want to see what's going on. So I really want to increase that percentage from 5% going ahead because I, I'm creating this content for you guys. You've gone and, and committed by subscribing to me. So I want to make content that you want to see. So hopefully with your help, I'll be able to change that percentage to make it at least a little bit higher. Now I've uh, played around a bit and uh, I've created a word cloud in the form of the YouTube play button. And what I've done is I've taken all my titles of all the videos that I've published in the past year and I've put it in a string and I've used word cloud to see what words um, stand out the most in terms of viewers per day. So obviously the first video that I uploaded had a whole year to accumulate views, um, but I went and divided the amount of views with the days it was available on YouTube, or the days it was published, so then a video that is very popular, but only had like a few weeks, like was uploaded in December. So it had only a month, but it was very popular and had a lot of views. Then it will be divided by less days. So it's views per day would still be, be very high. So um, I created this word cloud and just sort of see visually if um, anything stands out in terms of what my channel has been all about and what created the most views. And you can clearly see that just by looking at it, my channel is about tutorials of Python and web scraping and Facebook. You can clearly see those are the four sort of main words, tutorial, Python, web scraping, Facebook is the, the four words that can describe my channel this past year. And I feel like that is also something that has maybe caused you as a subscriber to not always watch my videos because not every tutorial that I create is relevant to you. And that's also why my YouTube search is so successful in that there's a lot of people out there that are looking for tutorials, are looking for help to, to go and accomplish some sort of task. And they go and they go in YouTube search, they search for the thing they're looking for, they see the video, they watch it, they're happy, they move on. They don't necessarily subscribe. And that is the case with me as well when I go onto YouTube and I search for things. So that is hopefully again, when we come back um, in the future and I create another word cloud, that tutorial word will have shrunk quite a bit and I would have increased my percentage of subscribers actually watching my videos. Now, interestingly enough, because Facebook web scraping was dominating my, my channel this past year so much in terms of views, I thought I'd remove that and sort of give the other titles to fair play on the playground just to see what happens. So I've created another word cloud where I've removed the titles of the two Facebook web scraping videos. And now you can clearly see that still tutorials still dominating because obviously all my videos are tutorial based and um, Python is still there. And now with, with Facebook and web scraping webs or, or the, the words web scraping, Facebook essentially gone. Um, other words have increased and you can clearly see that my recorder wave tutorials are quite popular as well. And then Twitter, Twitter bots, the Roku using Tweep, TweetPi and SolidWorks is literally the winners in terms of that. So if we, we exclude web scraping Facebook, there is still some other topics that people find interesting and they want to watch. So what is my plans for the next thousand um, subscribers for the next 5,000 subscribers? So I had a thought about it and said, right, I did well in terms of generating tutorials that people want to watch and that's generated a lot of subscribers for me. But now I feel I want to turn the focus to you and sort of ask you, what do you want to see? What do you want to get from my channel? And if you're happy with tutorials, then that's fine. Then you can let me know. If you want to see some other content, you can let me know as well. And I've created a questionnaire and I've put the link in the description below and you can click on it and you can select the topics that you find interesting. And I've even put in a text box where you can put in specific sort of um, suggestions. And I'd love 
for you, even if you're not a subscriber, to click that link. Let me know the topics that you want me to cover in my channel, and then I will go and make sure that happens. Now, I want to not make this a once-off thing, so I want to do this quite regularly. If you as a subscriber or as a non-subscriber, which will become a subscriber very soon if you click the subscribe button, if you want to stay in the loop in terms of content that you can suggest to me what I am creating, you can sign up to my newsletter and I will frequently send out little questionnaires where you can give suggestions, where you can sort of determine what is the next step for my channel. So if you just want to go once off, let me know what you think. You can select the link for the questionnaire. Let me know what your thoughts are. And that's great. Thank you very much if you're going to do that. But if you want to be with me in the long run, I want to see this channel grow. I want to see that subscriber percentage grow to more than 5% at least. Then do consider subscribing to the newsletter where I will send you the latest news, where I'll send you questionnaires to get feedback from you in terms of is the content that I'm creating sufficient? What else do you want to see? I want to give the power to you. And I can only do that when I get some feedback from you. So thank you very much again. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for this great year. 2020 was at least a positive in terms of that. Having gotten to a thousand subscribers, it's really great. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun and I really look forward to the next thousand. So I'll see you in my newsletter. Or I'll see you in the questionnaire and I'll see you as well in the next video. Bye.